Whenever I say to someone, pick a card, they always say, I've seen that one. So every now and again, I like to do something a bit different. And this one's going to be a really impossible card trick. We're going to pick a card. We're going to find it under impossible circumstances. To begin with, you're probably thinking maybe this is set up in some sort of order. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. OK, you're very trusting, but I will shuffle the cards anyway. So these are being mixed up. Now, I want you to cut the cards now. And I try and cut about 2 thirds of the cards over to here like that. OK? OK? Half of what's left over to there. Okay, so now we have three packets of cards. Pick up the middle one and shuffle it as much as you like. Okay, it's good. Put it down. Pick up any one of the other two and shuffle that. Okay. Now, when you're done, drop it on top of the middle packet and the one you just shuffled. Beautiful. Take the top card, look at it, and show it to everyone else in the room. Okay. Now, if you remember that card, put it back onto the top of the pack. Now, there's one packet left. Pick that up and, sh up and shuffle that too. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I've been practicing that shuffle for a while. <laughs> I've been practicing this too for a while. <laughs> put it on top. OK. Cut the cards and complete the cut, just in case I think I know where your card is. OK. Now, we shuffled. You cut, you shuffled again, mm -hmm. you had a free choice of any card, mm -hmm. and then you cut again. Mm -hmm. So it should be absolutely impossible for me to find your card. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I think, uh, hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Crazy. I think you shuffled these real well. Actually, I think you shuffled these too well, but we'll, we'll try and get around that. Let's see if I can pick uh, one card. Okay. Now, once I've got the card, I'm committed. There's nothing I can do about it. You name the card that you chose. Seven of diamonds. Oh. Seven <laughs> of diamonds. <laughs> Good job. You know, back home in Glasgow, not many men carry these. Okay? In actual fact, I have to be very careful not to be seen to carry these. It's a rough turn. Mm -hmm. But inside, I keep three coins. One, two, three. Now, at the end of this, you're going to think, maybe there were some more coins in here. Check it out. Anything else? Nothing? No. OK, very nice. Close it. Nothing. Nothing. That's it. Beautiful. Now, three coins. One, two, three. No more, no less. Mm -hmm. Well. Not yet, anyway, because I'm going to take one of the coins, make it vanish completely. This, of course, leaves me with just two. Really, just two. In a second. This leaves me with one coin. Now, I know you're watching really closely. No, I'm not joking. It really has gone. Vanished completely. Not up the sleeve but in the one place you wouldn't expect them to be. Remember at the beginning, we looked inside the purse, we checked inside, and there were one, two, three silver coins. You heard of this guy called Yuri Geller, the Israeli guy who can bend spoons with the power of his mind? Well, I figured out that I, too, can bend spoons with the power of my mind. It's a little different, but watch, it works like this. It's non-permanent, but it really hurts. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, look, if I do this, you'll actually see the spoon bending right like that until the bowl has moved all the way down like this. And you'll see that if I do this, the spoon is still bending. That's amazing. And even like that, look, it's still going still bending. But I personally don't believe that you can bend a spoon with the power of your mind. That's why I think it's all an illusion. <laughs> now you're marking that card on the face. I'm going to mark that card too, but on the face and the back simultaneously. That would be quite impressive if you actually think about it. Well, maybe you shouldn't think about it too much. What I need to do that is one of these. A hole punch. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to take the five, just blow in it a little bit, and I'm going to punch it once over here, 
once here, and the same thing at this end, once here, and once here. So what we have now is a lovely card with four holes punched, one in each corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. can you see these holes? Yeah. Okay, watch. Now remember, this is normally done with coins on the table. This is done with holes on a card. I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to move it. Up to here. See that? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to take this one here. And move it up to here. Can you see through these holes okay? Yeah. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to move it along to here. So here's the mystery. With four holes, they start off one in each corner, mm -hmm. they all end up in one corner, and what you're thinking right now is, is that my card? With your teeth in, you're thinking, is that my card? Yeah, yeah. That's why I have you sign your name right across the face. Wow.